Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home. I want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers for, for subscribing my channel and I am finally on 2000 subscribers. It feels great and um I have been not posting for a while. We had summer vacations and I am back with the activity and the first set of activity that I'm doing is on the beach. Uh, a lot of fun uh, activities uh, and extremely hands-on the way we have been doing a lot of stickers a lot of paper a lot of books to be used uh, along with the activities so moving forward i'm going to show you the one that we are going to do for this week so i had this book uh, which is thomas wonderful word book and this was one of the very early books that we had started reading and it is all about pictures and the names and everything so the activity is on the beach so it's all inspired by the things and stuff that we see on the beach or we do or we notice and uh, the first one that you see here is on the beach word list so what i have done we had um, a page on the beach in this book and you you see a lot of pictures here and the words so here i have written down uh, the words from the book okay and they have all have been denoted with a special color so the four colors that i've used is a uh, blue green orange and red and with the help of these manipulatives that i've kept here what vivan has to do so like if it's sand here he needs to find the word sand here and that's sand right on the paper sand says orange color so vivan has to pick up the manipulative from here and it has to put on sand here okay so next goes like pebbles pebbles are green and this is where pebbles is so the manipulative green is going to go on pebbles so like that there are four different colors that vivan has to find and all the words and this will also help him to um, just under the, understand the words that relate to the beach and then we are going to just talk about uh the words different words and we'll talk about the picture so this is more towards like matching the words with the picture and then helping them identify and putting the manipulative is just an add on um activity along with it so that was my activity number 1 uh moving forward i have a pretty cute activity that vivan really likes when we try and do so what i've done here is it's a pool party happening for all the animals and the pets around and what i've done i have um made a little pool along with that uh some bones and i have made these seven pets sit down here and the same ones are here and i've written in the names and here there are there's a small piece of instruction so it says who is sitting next to fudge on the left so who is fudge first he needs to find who is fudge this one is fudge okay where is fudge here this one is fudge so who is sitting on the left side of the fudge okay so is this left or is this left so first he needs to figure it out who's on the left once he knows that he needs to tell me the answer the next one is who is wearing a bow okay a bow I don't see a bow anywhere. Hmm. I see one. That's a bow. That looks like a bow. Does it look like a bow? Yes, it looks like a bow. Okay, now let's find her name. Hey, her name is also bow. And then he needs to tell me the name of that. The third one is name the animal whose tongue is sticking out. Whose tongue is sticking out? Can you can you find someone? Um uh, Hey that's the one and his name is Pop. So like this I have written four questions but I do plan to ask a lot of random and impromptu questions with him if he really enjoys this activity. So I think it's a pretty cool activity where you have uh, you can uh, do numerous things with just one activity. You can go back and forth, you can ask who's sitting in between, you can talk about the colors of the dress that uh, and you can use any kind of sticker. So this activity basically can be done uh from age maybe 3 onwards to 6 and you can make it as complex and or as easy as you want okay so that was my activity number 2 my activity number 3 is uh it says i am a surfer and okay i am looking for my sticker book oh yeah right here it is so my whole activity has been done with ola o beat sticker book it was like a 1 dollar sticker book which i got and uh, what vivan has to do is uh, this is basically part of my grouping and classification activity uh, i i am doing one on astronaut chef gardener and surfer and in my camping activity which we did last Uh, I'm gonna share a link below of that we did on um, 
the um, uh, outdoors men yeah so that was outdoors men once i'm going to do all five of them then we're going to have a final grouping and classification activity so this is part of classification that what all things will go for a surfer so he's he will be uh, identifying the things that he will be needing for a beach and he needs to put the stickers right here so it's basically a sticker activity and the one things that he need on the beach so that's one the next is uh, because we have been doing a lot of uh, graphing activity so I am using two of them a pie graph and a telly chart in, uh, in telly chart what we have done I've taken flip flops flower and a starfish and um, it, I've used telly marks and he has to see which one has the most and then he needs to identify or he can just simply use any of the manipulatives that we have and he can put it on top of that so he needs to find which one and then he will put it here it's the same with this one, it's a pie graph. It might look very simple, but there's a very now nah, there's a very close difference between this one and this one. And it is this one which is the most. So he needs to figure it out. And once he knows the answer, he needs to put the manipulative here. So it's basically just a reinforcement of what pie graph is and what tally chart is all about. So these were uh, another set of activities. Then we have a coding activity activity which says beach code. And there's an owl who wants to go to the reception which says aloha. And what Vivan has to do is he needs to follow these steps. So I have written three steps. So with the help of a marker or a Sharpie, he needs to make three steps. One, two, three. Then two steps down. One, two. So as soon as he's, he's done the three steps, he needs to cut these. Then two steps down. Then another two turns. Then going down. And then one, two, three. He will be, the owl will reach here. So as soon as he's taking every step, he needs to cut here. And then he needs to find there are how many steps that he took finally to reach to the beach. Because he needs to take exactly the same number of steps from here to here to reach to the reception. So that was another one guys and then one we have which is for syllables. So I try and add on a lot of uh, activities from um, language, from numbers and uh, coding and a brain teaser uh, just in under one activity and so that we can like stretch it and we can do it for at least a week, one or two activities at a stretch and uh, if we do it before then I try and add on few more. Uh, on the same concept so we have done syllables and what i've written here is note read the word aloud and clap the syllables and cross the correct number so like we have here flower so we have two we have butter fly so two primary and one secondary so we have three syllables here then you have sun which is one so like this he needs to read the word aloud and as soon as he hears the syllables he has to clap so the the just the basic is as many number of times as he claps he needs uh, that's the answer of the syllable and that's when he crosses it so he has been already he has already done the concept of syllable and if you've not done it you can introduce it or you can modify this activity by just like the beginning sounds or the end sounds with this one okay so moving forward my last two activities which are left are okay sorry last three uh, it's an I Spy Beach, very colorful activity. I have used all random stickers from my sticker book and I've placed them here and the motives are here also. So he needs to just see, he needs to uh, find them and he needs to write the right number here. Okay, so the next one is uh, a little maths activity here. Uh, all the stickers have a particular number and that's the equation so he needs to do flip-flop minus star starfish the flip-flop here is nine and starfish is one so he needs to do nine minus one and he needs to write the answer here is the same goes for bottle minus float so you have the bottle here and you have the float here so it's like five minus four it's equal to one and then you have two addition activities here in between and then another uh, subtraction and on the other side we again have all the addition so it's just like a basic simple thing wherein I have just tried and like tricked him by using the not the numbers exactly but the names of the pictures which denote a number so I think it's a little add-on thing for a five-year-old and I think it makes pretty interesting it makes the whole thing very interesting okay the last 
uh, activity is here and it's again one of my favorite favorite that we try and do it and I think we have learned a lot from this activity which is a picture based activity all the different pictures that I could find I have put them here and it's going to be one minute activity I'm going to show it to him for a minute he can recognize as many pictures as he can okay which he sees on the beach and then after a minute he needs to tell me at least three to four of them so I think it's going to be great, great, great activity. I'm going to start with a minute first and I'm going to see how, how is he reacting to it. If it's going to be too easy for him, uh, I have made an extra chart with the same kind of an activity. And um, I'm just going to show you the quick chart here. There's another one which I have made for him. That's for another activity. And uh, for that, I'm going to use like, I'll reduce the time. And once it is done, then along with the different manipulatives, or the different beads that I have. I have a lot of beads. He needs to place the beads on all the uh, things that he sees on the beach or are part of the water life. So there are like many of them and within a, within a span of like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, he needs to put all the beads there. So that's it guys. These were all the fun activities that I could ramp up and I thought we can do it. Uh, it'll be a, a good comeback for him. And I'm going to take it very slow. He has been practicing a lot of other activities. But I think at a stretch with a theme base and doing it all together, we haven't done it for quite some time now. If you like the activities, do give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, any queries, please do write to me. Thank you so much for subscribing. If somebody who has not subscribed yet and watching my video, please do subscribe. I really need more subscriptions. Uh, I promise I'm going to upload more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. See you next, see you next time.